Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen how to activate the component uh, which is created through dynamically. We have seen right, but one thing is missing that the button is not working, and also we are unable to show the error message. Also, so now let's try to do this one uh, in this video. Before continuing to this video, if you are coming first time to here, please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that I will be posting more and more front end development courses. Okay. So coming to this video what we will try to do is so here we are unable to show the message so first let's try to show the message here so how we can show the message here if you see here we are having the create component right so this one will send you the component reference okay so not component object component reference so in that component reference you will be having the instance of that component okay so for that instance you need to send a message so that means so whatever the uh, component you are having so alert model dot ts so these are all nothing but the properties only okay if you create an object for this alert model these are all properties you will be able to access the properties and methods and all those things so now in order to get this object what we can do is so here you can have component ref okay so you will be having this component ref dot instance okay you will be having the dot instance instance means it will give you the instance of that particular component if you keep dot you will be able to see the properties and methods see these are all the properties and methods which are present in the in that component so now on error we can assign this message directly like this okay so upon assigning this message directly we will be able to see the message uh, see the message if i try to clear this one and if i try to check the output so let's check the output here so if I try to check the output here like this, let's try to refresh it again. Okay. Saved. Okay. Saved. Now what we'll try to do is I will try to again do this one. If I click here, see you are able to see the message. So message thing is working fine. Now when I click on this button, the button is not working. So let's try to uh, do this button. So same scenario what we can try to do is component ref okay you will be having component ref in that instance you will be having that close method okay if you see here you can access this property using this close method so this property will emit the event so this is an event emitter okay so this will emit emit event emit event means nothing but an observable it is something but a, nothing but a subject so subject same thing how we are using the next thing so we are emitting the data so how we can capture when whenever the uh, emitting is done how we can capture is dot subscribe you can use the subscribe and you can catch that event so here dot subscribe and we can have this one so first is first what we need to do is we need to close this subscription whenever the when, when we need to unsubscribe this subscription whenever the user clicks on the close why because the component is getting to be destroyed so that means there is no need to subscribe it again so uh, automatically if the component is created again it will be subscribed okay so first we will try to unsubscribe this one so what we will try to do is we will try to create a close subscription of type subscription okay so this should be imported from the rxjs if you see the top so here a uh, subscription rxjs in it input and this close subscription what i can do is so here i can assign this one to the this dot close subscription okay so for this close subscription what i will try to do is so whenever the instance dot close is uh, is initialized so that means is emitted so first we will clear this subscription okay unsubscribe and then afterwards what we will try to do we will try we have to try to clear the view container ref so what i can do i can take this view container ref and i can clear this one okay so i have cleared the view container ref and i unsubscribed this one so if i go here if i do the refresh it again Okay, let it refresh so now i will try to add the code here so if i try to add the again here if i click on login i am able to see if i click on close it's not working why because we need to refresh it again a little bit of slow my system okay because of our code so it the compilation is taking very slow so now login if i click on login if i click on close see the pop the model window has been closed successfully so that means we have closed the we have used this UV container 
so this is how we can access the properties and also we can access the subscriptions and last but not least what we can do is so it's better practice to implement so implements on destroy okay on destroy so that so if somebody opens the pop-up and if they go outside so if i go to another uh, another what, what i can say another component so let's destroy that subscription also in the ng on destroy so that for us safety so if this dot close sub is there okay so this is the best practice you to implement okay sorry i i can take this one and i can copy this one i can paste it okay so this is one of the best practice so on ng on destroy i am destroying this one okay now if i go here if i check the output again <clears throat> if i try to do so we'll refresh it again okay i refresh it again okay now i will try to do again okay i will try to so the compiler problems came so we need to rerun the compiler again so i successfully run the code again okay so now we can check the output here directly last time we will check the output so if i click on this one so we are able to get if i close here so nothing not a problem okay so this is how we can create the component dynamically using this view container ref and the component factor resolver so these things most probably we will be not using but it's a real situation so this could be very useful for us when we are uh, uh, very to know the advanced concepts and all those things okay so this is all about the how to create a component programmatically instead of using the ngf and all those things okay so this, uh, this is all code i will be posting it in the github so you can find the github link repository link below the description so you can find the github repositories if you want this code so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video, please do support me by subscribing to my channel. Thank you.